Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to Noel the Mortal Fate. Last time we made our game plan on how we're gonna do this. And we found out Russell is a dick. Anyway, let's go. It's been like this for a few days. We need to. This keeps up. I feel storm tomorrow. I found a Fugo for repairing a new gas mask. So, we will see the official return of the Demon of Explosions then. I'm more used to the Mask Fugo being an enemy. He might have his gang back together, but he isn't going to change his mind. I know. Don't you need to prepare weapons? In... Oh. We should you prepare weapons at the time we have before the battle too. If you want it, I can get your handgun. Our chance will be more than enough. Rather than that. I'd like to see my house. Your house. I don't want a criminal. I can't talk to my mother or father. But I want to at least see the house. Alright. What is about this evening? So you probably won't be- won't get seen. To help you make up your mind. It's a bargain. Move under the cover of dark. So we're near the end. Even though we're close to achieving revenge, it still doesn't feel real. It's because things are going well, or... No, I'm overthinking it. Let's go before it starts raining. I'm going to see your house, right? I'll follow you in the shadows, don't worry. Well, I don't know where the house is! It's this way. It's feckin' windy! Welcome, welcome. Where is sight to see with the downtown branch? Again, you're on 24 7 and welcome me anytime. Shipped a good bargain. Don't pass by without buying. Oh! Mm hmm. Didn't that? Julian. Oh well. Ed Parn. What are you doing here? We need to act so violent. Caesar isn't here. Not a chance in hell, that's... What's... Actually, I was at some anywhere. I was just enjoying the night breeze. Why are you here, Noel? Even if the weather is bad, it's night. I don't want anyone to see you, right? I was going to see my house. Because this may be my last chance. So, it's a lot like my reason. You too. Thoughts. Are you really going? I don't think you should. Why? Thoughts. Because your house is. I'm now one a criminal. I can guess what the house is like, and I'm prepared. Alright. Then, can I tag along? It's been a while, I won't talk with you. Dots. Of course you can. I also wanted some time to talk with you. Is that okay, Karin? Julian, if you make any strange moves, I will kill you without mercy. I'll stay at a distance to where I can attack you in a flash. Don't do not forget it. Sure. I mean, I won't do anything. Why did I do anything to harm Noel? Let's go, Noel. We can take it slow. I'll say it again, but don't let your guard down. I know. But I do not think Julian poses a threat. I wonder about that. Go to house with Julian, right? Say it again, don't lay a guard down. 
Near Jillian's house. My house. So it's still in the state. Dots. Is your family alright? Oh, yes. So hospitalized, we're fine. Good to hear it. It's strange. The story is that I'm under police protection while in rehab at another hospital. But I've actually ended up a demon thanks to Mary Burroughs. Dots. Both Demon Bomber and Mayor Burroughs. He used me as a decoy to lure you, which I can never forgive. I don't care that I was hurt. I just can't forgive them for exploiting your goodwill. Let's go, Noel. Thoughts. Ice cream shop. Oh, it's the place. It's this place. No, well, do you remember? Of course. He often ate ice cream on the way back from piano lessons on this bench. Look, here it is. The ice cream shop I talked about the other day. Indeed it is. A shop in this cramped downtown area. I don't think it's anything special. But you've never had ice cream in a place like this, right, Miss Kirkcuddy? Well, no. Well, let's eat. As you've been helping me so much lately, it's my treat today. Is it really alright? Don't worry. Even I have enough money to buy two scoops of ice cream. No, I don't mean that. I feel uneasy eating here. Oh, that's what you meant. I guess you don't go to eat often, but I think getting a treat after class in the downtown is fine. And on the down low is fine. Really? Well, I won't force you, but I guess I haven't put you on the spot. No, I will eat it. I've not been prohibited or anything. My, this is rather a unique taste. I've not had it much. It tastes somewhat artificial, but I do like it. I did figure you usually eat really fancy snacks and sweets, Miss Kurokuddy. Well, I'm glad you like it. So, Miss Litner, why did you bring me to the shop? Hmm? I mean, I talked about the shop the other day, remember? And, well, you looked really interested in what I was saying, so... Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Did I say something strange? Maybe I'm being over the casual after all. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. As you mentioned, as you mentioned dining together, I thought that you meant you wanted to discuss some things, say. Aha, uh -huh. I was gonna eat ice cream. Together without any special business, right? Well, now I know. You're the first person to talk to me like this. <clears throat> huh? There's something rude. You talk to me as an individual. Not as the daughter of the noble Karakuti family. No one has ever been like that before. I, I'm not familiar with noble families. And you do help me with my homework sometimes. Now I know. You're really not a snob. Then, stop calling me Miss Karakuti. Noelle will do just fine. Really? Is that alright? Of course. And I hope you'll continue being so incognizant of the Karkut family name. I, I understand. Noel. Thank you, Julian. Yeah, I remember. 
That ice cream after working hard was so good. And you would only get the chocolate mint flavor. Oh, I see him. He's peeking like a creep. Look at him. <laughs> oh yeah, chocolate mint is the best. It is not. It is it is too too much of both, I gotta say. Like they're fighting each other instead of complimenting. You never even tried it though. Oh could I? Does it not taste like toothpaste? Everyone says that. Man, I wonder why. It's actually so tasty. Mint ice cream is not bad. Mint with chocolate chips is equally not as bad. In fact, I prefer it. But chocolate mint? It's too much. And I can't explain that in words. That's far in the past. Now I get to eat ice cream here again. Let's go. Piano class. Dots. You were amazing at piano, Noel. Your playing had a brilliance mine didn't. That I always admired. You praised me too much. In my memory, your performance was rather high level as well. You even played the said piano, meant for adults exactly as I did. I remember everyone's jealousy. Ah, I remember that too. The copying performances I've seen is my forte. The only reason I started piano class. A pianist has to read the heart of the composer. I remember you telling me that back then. I'm absolutely bad at it. All I can do is copy a well-played example. When you played Noel, I could feel a brilliance that my own performance lacked. I think I was in the best position to notice that. It's not the technique, but putting your heart into it. That's what makes you able to read a composer's heart, isn't it? If I could read hearts like that, maybe I could understand the world you see, Noel. Dots. Sorry, I'll stop. We haven't had time together in ages. Juliana. I want to say is, I've always admired you playing the piano, Noel. Though during the competition, I had to tough. I think I was secretly trying to be like you. Dots. She seems a lot calmer than she did before. Maybe your head-on confrontation got her to cool her head. I would hope so. Yet now Julian feels like she's gazing far off into the distance. She'll shatter if I so much as blow on her. She won't be alright. Follow her and ask. the slope, we'll see your house. You always put it ways here after piano lessons. Today's competition was quite high level. Next year, I'll be old enough to participate, so I have to work hard. My aim is, of course, the position of ceremonial pianist. Dots. What's wrong, Juliana? Oh, uh, Noel. I feel like I'm out of place. What's gotten into you? I've seen you in class and the other participants. And their dresses and all. They're like otherworldly. When they go home, they all climb the slope to get to the upper class part of town. And I'm the only one who 
makes a U-turn here and returns to the downtown area. It makes me feel like I'm doing something different. In a different world from you and everyone else. You need to mind things like that. What does it matter where you live? I've been uneasy all this time. I feel like I'm out of place. That may be how I play doesn't matter. And what counts in contests and ceremonies is glamour. Hey, Jillian. Remember what I said before. They don't want you to mind that my family name is Karakati. That was when we ate ice cream in the ice cream shop downtown. That's right. At that time, you didn't go on guard with me because I, I was from an upper-class family, right? Yeah. I'm glad for that. The Kirkcuddies are a family of prestigious pianists. Even in class, I'm treated with too much caution. You're the only person who talks to me freely. But if you weren't there, I might have stopped going to piano class by now. Why? I would never expect that from you. You play piano so beautifully. What do I matter? You're wrong. It's not skill that counts, but feeling. Feelings? To a daughter of the Kirkcuddy, piano is just strict training. Perfection is expected. But since you began praising my performance, I feel like I try a bit harder. I don't know why myself. I feel better because you're there. Dots. You may not realize it, but please don't lose sight of your virtues. Thank you, Noel. If I can help you in any way, I'm happy. But compared to the others, I. Julian? Then you didn't look at the others. But now forget the competition and the memorial ceremony. What? Just look at me. If you think I'm cool. As long as you look at me, I can be the cool person you want me to be. So forget about the others. Dots. Ah! Yeah, you got me. You really are so bold and cool, Noel. I feel stupid worrying about little things. I really mean it then. I'll do my best to be able to play like you. Eh, you said it. But putting your feelings into songs is no easy task. I'll have you know. You would always give me a little wave and go straight up the slope. I would always watch you from the bottom and think I want to be like her. Oh, hi, Karin. Found him. I know where the barrel is. There he is. Didn't you want to overtake me? Your skill, at least, was surely not inferior to mine. Well? Of course, I was genuinely happy when I was chosen as the ceremonial pianist. But not because I want to get you, Noel. It's because I felt that I'd given a heartfelt performance. It wasn't really long to become the ceremonial pianist, just to be like you. Now that I know I'm driving you into a corner, I don't care one bit about being the ceremonial pianist. For this past week, even through the ceremony, even though the ceremony is coming soon, I haven't felt happy at all. Dots. I'm not really supposed to climb up the slope with you, Noel. I always watch you from behind. But today's special. Let's go. Now we're watching her. Just look at me and only me. Did my words change your world? My how. It's been graffitied. Dots. Criminal. Out of the plus. Scum of the earth. Burn in hell. Evil witch. This is terrible. That's why I didn't want to show you. Ignorant onlookers. 
doing whatever they like. Writing these horrible words. Attacking people and hiding away. They should all die. However, father and mother. They couldn't stand it to move somewhere else. That's what I heard. But they got harassed a lot when they still lived here. Guts. Father and mother. I'm sorry for being a poor daughter. Hey, this is what it means, Noel. To seek revenge. This is what happens. Even if they harass you as much as they want, you can't do anything. It's awful. We still know all. You still choose revenge. Thank you for being angry on my behalf, Jillian. I had a feeling that this might that it might be like this, so it's okay. I already made my decision. Taking away my dream, hurting my best friend. I can never forgive Mayor Burroughs. That's the decision I've come to. Here in my revenge. I put my heart and soul into this quest for vengeance. That's... That's true. I wonder if it will change from being ceremonial penis to achieving revenge. The way of living, of being hasn't changed. Thinking your passionate playing is beautiful. Being so drawn to that under unwielding power. To me, it's all the same. Somehow I get it. Why you seem so cool then? Then? What then are you talking about? Nothing. Just talking to myself. Well, it's been pretty lousy, huh? Let's wrap up today, before it starts raining. I have to perform tomorrow's ceremony. Do you think I'll let you off that easy? The one Caesar has a contract with. You won't get anything out of just catching me. Caesar can still protect the mirror without me. It's that kind of contract. Is that the reason you don't want me at the ceremony? Dots. Noel, next time we meet, we may have to fight again. That happens just once more. Command me with that cool resolve of yours. It will probably be the last. I won't run away anymore either. I'll be waiting at the end point of our piano careers. Jillian. But nothing happened. She was gone the whole time. I was just waiting for her to go crazy. She was some nonsense like the end point for our piano careers. Probably doesn't even imagine how we see each other again in a few hours. Let's return to the slums before dawn. You don't want to get wet before the final battle, do you? Dots. You're right. Julianne. You must have realized. I will attack the ceremony, right? I accept your challenge. I think Noelle is cool. She has the power to put her heart into things that I don't have. The brilliance of her heart shines through her piano and in her revenge. She's just so cool, so radiant. I don't have a reason to force her to stop anymore. But I can't just withdraw. Because unlike Piano, revenge is a thorny path. I support Noel's revenge without doing my best. And that brings her misfortune. I'll regret it forever. But really, I want to support you. I have no choice. So I know that I'm being selfish, but please, Noel. Go beyond my best. D-Day. Of the pluses, minus of that, the ceremony. Wow. There's an impressive number of guards around this year, Mayor. Yes, I hesitated at first, 
That's all public safety. Safety should take priority. Oh. She's creeping in the corner. Plus the security companies are in full cooperation with us. I suppose it's only the right thing to do. There have been too many incidents lately. Until the National Counterterrorism Unit is dispatched, we have to fend for ourselves. Indeed. Personally, I find it a pity that outside forces must interfere with the local plus. Or for all the same, today is the Memorial Day for the city. There is still some time before the opening, but so please make yourself at home. You have my support. Reporting in, sir. No problems at present. From area A to E. Thank you. They're in high odds, but they're in zero either. Just case scenario, if they attack with no care for consequences, I have enough men to handle them. The most force is probably about seven people. If I would command that force to seven here. Your position. Yes, sir. Oh, before I forget. Yes, sir. Watch out for the smell of gunpowder. Let the others know. Ah, oh, here you are. Thanks for all your support. Thank you for coming in such weather. Mary's address will begin soon. A lot of people are already here. Yeah, that's the usual one here. Don't look up at the smell of gunpowder. Bomber? With the squint. He would bring a bomb detector. We do have one in the car. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, it's the cars! <laughs> huh? We need to fish around for it, gents. This is a pain in the ass to use anyway. Yeah, I'll save you the trophy looking. So happy. The demon bomber is right here. Hey, it's that for memorial ceremony, isn't it? Let's get the party started. He just threw a bomb in their face. <laughs> I love this thing. What's going on? There's a really problem away from the building. Ravoros. Hello, Ms. Noel. What brings you here? If I remember correctly, you're not going to the ceremony. Did you forget? I have no manners, devil. I wonder if others who are talking. My manners are... will never be worse than yours. Hmm. You've been quite the criminals, haven't you? I'm mostly shocked by this open terrorism. Really, though you may be, a pianist is a pianist. I had to imagine you'd come to the ceremony. Now they have a security for not expecting us. I'm the type to spare no expense in preparation if there's even a 1% chance of danger. Your bones can't pass through here. But if it isn't, the mad dog who lost his owner. A disgrace to the false police. Oscar Dressel. If you say so. I'll fill out your with you. Aw, you're not fun. Please exit. Like no. Escape the piano hall, not the east exit. The stage wings connect to the east corridor. Are they headed to the east exit of the stairs? Oh wait. The breath and the others stand at the east exit. We'll choose after Russell. Let's just start. The stage wings connect to the exit. Just uh, after Mirabonos. Python and the rest of the east can't escape. Well, I, for one, am going to save and end the episode here because we are about to take this fool on! So, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you later.